you very much. We'll start this with a rerun of the TED Talk, which, is, which gives you a good, good overview in five minutes of what we're up to. Hi, my name is Marcin, farmer, technologist. I started a group called Open Source Ecology. We've identified the 50 most important machines that we think takes for modern life to exist. Then we set out to create an open source, DIY, do-it-yourself version that anyone can build and maintain at a fraction of the cost. We're exploring the limits of what we all can do to make a better world with open hardware technology. Thank you. So, uh, what's the plan for, as far as getting the computers, how do we, um, how do, we do that? Um, call Kaufman, saying, hey, here's what we're doing. We just had a giant storm wreck our electronics. Well, I mean, that doesn't get us, I'm talking about like today or next few days. Today, I can, many, I can buy three for us right now. So we how, can many, just, how many do we need so to operate? So, go, go up to a place like uh, Best Buys or something, is yeah. what's, what would be the plan. Yeah. Managing volunteers is not that easy no, because... Um, it's really hard to organize people along a very particular focus. So you got, like, this is two, two feet by two feet. Does that make, make sense? A lot of times I feel like I, I still bear the burden of always clarifying that direction and kind of keeping the faith of the projects alive and keeping it on track. We're kind of delayed here, like we got flooded, by the way. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, dude. Um, yeah, we lost, th uh, we lost three laptops. Hey, do I have to go out there? You go to factory farm, it's like, uh, it's, it's rough. I mean, camping with power tools, very fun power tools, but you know, it's, it's just a slight step up from camping. It's one of those, it's like finding Google in the garage. One day we'll be making this stuff in there. Marchin is, all right, first off, he's a genius. He doesn't wear it on his shoulder, but the dude is like, PhD, fusion energy, he's like, He's a man with a vision. Would I agree that I'm obsessed with open source ecology? If that means that I think about it all the time and eat and live it and breathe it, yeah. Just think, what is a tractor? What does it do? It's, you know, it's a traction device, it's got wheels, it's got an engine. So I would think, well, what's the simplest way to do it? A lot of it boils down to common sense, like hands-on kind of, kind of thinking. The ramifications of the success of this thing are huge. I mean, imagine if you had a, a means of creating a whole economy on a small scale that provides modern comforts. Well, that will change a lot of different things. It's like you're going to say, okay, why am I working for that guy if I can actually, uh, in my community, produce effectively to meet my needs? I started thinking about it seriously perhaps the second year of grad school. I got really disenchanted because people were talking about things that didn't exist uh -huh. even. And it's like, 
Uh, we have some real issues on this planet. Let's solve them. So are you growing anything right now? Are you growing? Yeah. Are you growing the apple? Or are you? <laughs> We're growing ideas. You're like a, a 1950s science fiction character, you know? They always talked about people rebooting society, you know, and stuff. And it's like, this is the dream that the authors had in the 50s. <laughs> and yeah. just very few people have tried to live this out. Lisa, I need your help badly. Okay, what? so so with respect to like, <laughs> with respect to, I mean, I'm getting flooded with growth and as all of that. I need to really find a coach on like the business and growth aspects and the organizational stuff. Okay, so, so we need to get you need, a business I need something. mentor. Yeah. We traditionally haven't had news crews here like at all. March has been trying to keep them away. So am I looking at you or? Yeah, look at me. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the designs will then be open sourced, so people yeah. will be able to access them. Yeah. And then would yeah. they be able to tweak them accordingly, or would yeah. they have to talk to you first before they made no, any changes? No, uh, the open source platform allows for anybody to download, change, modify, use the designs as they like to, including enterprise, so you could make money producing things. And what was the initial reception like to your ideas? Because they are quite maverick. Yeah, initial reception is that everyone kind of dismisses it until you start getting a track record or start showing the things that work. So it took perhaps four or five years to get to this point where it actually get, gained some traction. That's nice. I don't want you to feel like you have to smile. I actually don't want you to smile. I mean, mm -hmm. just completely relax and try not to think about anything. Just gaze right into the camera. It's actually very challenging to get into the limelight and catch a lot of attention because we have a chance here to change the world and that's not a light task. Thirty, forty years from now, I would like to see myself in a world where Things are way better uh, where things like war and things like hunger and poverty are gone. Do you want to start like at the they are the ground, right? So you can pull me up, or, or how are you going to do it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we can do that. It's going to be dangerous for me to like roll it up because I don't have much control. Right. As far as the community that I'd be living in is, um, I imagine myself surrounded by a village-scale community of like 200 people or so and the most interesting, intriguing, <laughs> exciting people on this planet. That's who I will attract, and, and I think my life will be extremely <laughs> excellent because of that. We will let people have the choice. If they want this, they can have it. If they want the same old, same old us today, they can have that. Personally, I think this can be way more compelling. Whoa.